What's up YouTube, Danny Bizzle here and a really random video but I've had a couple of people ask how I get the Final Fantasy uh, TCG to be played on my computer so first of all you will need to get Tabletop Simulator um, it's quite good anyway uh, other than having it for just the Final Fantasy game but there's loads of games that you can play with friends and stuff like Uno, chess cards, anything else uh, it's got quite a big community, so first of all, I would say that. Um, it is 14.99 currently. I did get it on a deal um, over the Black Friday weekend, but I think it's worth that. I'd probably pay 15 quid for that. Anyway, first of all, you want to uh, buy it and then go to the community hub. So you can either get to it from here, or if you've already got it in your library, then you will see it here. And then you will need obviously you need to install the game first and then you need to get go to the workshop from here I've just typed in like final and then there's two so you got these two here so I installed both um, I personally prefer this one uh, I just prefer the mats and the table on there but I will show you both anyway so once these you have to click them to subscribe um, and then you have to uh, basically restart the tabletop simulator before you can uh, play it. So let's play this da -da, like that. So we just let this load. It won't take long. I'm just going to show you so the single player for now. So basically, you get this. Um, it's not on the DLC or anything, these are all paid things, these are just the games that you get as standard but you go to the Steam Workshop in here and that's pretty much it, so you got the two here like I said, this one is the one that I prefer uh, give it a little while to load um, this is just my standard setup, this is how I use my mat at home um, they've got the starter decks already made and this is the whole set so as you can see we can have a look at Auron and yeah play it that way um, it's just a quick tutorial but if you want to know how to create decks and stuff like that um, I will probably go off and talk about that but actually before I end this video I'm going to show you how to do certain things so to hold you hold this whole thing here to select the whole deck and then you can right click and draw so you get five cards to start obviously you need to shuffle first that would help shuffle the deck but um, yeah it's just literally it's like playing in real life so you drag the cards you can place them on the field etc it's pretty cool um, the only downside is the uh, like dulling so you would need to rotate left but you can use Q or E which is a lot easier. Also you can select a couple and then do Q and E to select them at the same time. Um, other than that if you have any questions just write them in the comment section below and I will try and answer you as soon as I can. But like I say it's a quick tutorial and the next one will probably be just how to create decks and I think that's pretty much it so yeah like I say if you want to know more please comment and ask questions um, I get emails notifications and I will just reply when I can really so I work so it's a bit difficult um, I will say though please support the game and actually buy the cards don't just use this this is a good method to test it's also a good method if your mates don't live anywhere near you like me um, so it's better for me to practice against them and then when I see them then I can play them in real life with my deck so personally I do collect the cards and I have a deck also so I've put enough money in there to justify playing this but yeah it's it's pretty good um, you need to get used to it basically but it is pretty sweet and yeah so I'm just going on now so yeah if you like the video please like uh, subscribe if you want to see more I probably will start recording jewels and stuff like that but I need to get used to it first and um, yeah and just learn the game a bit better 
So yeah, that's it. Danny Bizzle, I'm out, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.